Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. There's a new QuickBooks product out called QuickBooks Ledger. There's not that much known about it, and I'm unable to sign up for an account quite yet, but I did want to make a video to explain what I do know about this product. This product is being put out by Intuit for accountants to use. The big idea behind it is that it'll be available for accountants whose clients need a year-end catch-up. Let's take a look at the website. It's a low-cost solution for your Ledger clients. At the time of this recording, it's $10 per company file per subscription. I do recognize that it describes itself as a year-end solution, and that might feel weird with a monthly subscription. I think monthly is probably just easier for them to manage and keep track of, just set it up on a monthly roll. Let's take a look at the website. The website says that the ledger is ideal for the after the fact tax only clients. So think about the client that comes to you in January and says, hey, I need a bunch of records caught up for all of last year. I don't need a bunch of invoices made. I don't need accrual accounting. I just need my records caught up so that I can get my taxes filed. This is going to be the product for them. Intuit describes that this is designed with the accountants in mind and designed for the accountant. We'll see how that turns out, but I'm certainly hopeful. If you have more than 10 Ledger clients, give them a call. Fantastic. I imagine over the course of the year, I will absolutely have more than 10, but I think starting out, I'm likely to get a client here and a client there, and I won't need to onboard a bunch at once. Let's take a look at the FAQs. The first is it's going to be a ledger product for accountants only. You might be familiar with other ledger products, such as the one offered by Zero. Imagine it'll be real similar to that. How much does it cost? $10 per month per subscription. How do I give my client access? You don't. This is for the accounting professional to get a year's worth of data caught up and organized so the file can be ready for taxes. Important note is that your client won't be able to log in and they won't be able to connect their bank feeds. What type of clients are best suited for the product? This is a list of the clients that Intuit envisions are going to be a good fit for this product. So it's the after the fact clients, the people who come to us in January, February, March, and April and say, hey, I need a year's worth of record keeping caught up. Here's all my statements. Please help. It's going to be good for tax only clients. For multi-company clients with holding companies, so you know what those are. That's when a company says, oh, I have this like parent company, and then underneath it, there's these different LLCs that the parent company owns. That parent company doesn't need big, complicated bookkeeping. It just needs here, throw together some summaries and we'll be good. Intuit describes this as being a good solution for high net worth individuals. I'm really curious to see if it's a good solution for average net worth people who are bookkeepers. They were previously using Mint, but Mint is now being discontinued. I'm thinking of myself here. I will let you know if it's any good as an after the fact for someone like us. How do I add clients to QuickBooks Ledger? Well, believe me, I'm asking the same thing. It says you can add them through your QBOA account. That's not true as of the time of this recording, but hopefully will be true soon. If you're not familiar with this, it's when you log into your QuickBooks Online account and you have a list of customers. The upper right hand corner has the option for adding a new customer. That's what we would typically do when we pick Simple Start, Essentials Plus, or Advanced. I'm imagining that we're going to see this as an option there. Can clients sign themselves up for QuickBooks Ledger? I'm going to guess no. No. QuickBooks Ledger is only available for accountants. Can clients upgrade from QuickBooks Ledger to another product? The answer is yes. This is huge. There's that product that I don't ever talk about, QuickBooks Self-Employed. I don't talk about it for a lot of reasons. One of my biggest problems with it is you cannot upgrade QuickBooks Self-Employed to a QuickBooks product. 
but it looks like this one you can upgrade. I saw in a forum somewhere that you cannot downgrade it. So if you have a client and you're looking at their books and you're thinking, oh, this would be so great. Tough nogies, no downgrades. Let's take a look and see how this is going to compare with the existing products. What I'm looking at is the pricing page for QuickBooks Online. Let's compare it with Simple Start. The first thing we have is the price. The price for this other product is $10 per month. The price for Simple Start is $30. You'll notice that if I toggle off the discount, you're going to see the real price, not the promo price. So it's going to be cheaper than that. In both cases, it'll track income and expenses. So fantastic about deductions, reports. It'd be totally useless if it didn't give us reports. So I think we can assume that. It's not going to have receipt capture. It specifically said the client will not be able to upload anything. So no receipt capture. There's no mileage tracking because the client doesn't have any access to this there wouldn't be cash flow planning because it's for after the fact after the year has passed whatever planning i might have done like that's out the window cash flow planning is one of those proactive things you're doing so we'll assume not sales and sales tax i don't expect it to track that either because it's an after the fact software whatever sales tax was owed on a monthly basis that is likely done, dealt with, turned in. There's a chance that it keeps track of it. I'm going to assume not until I'm able to set up an account and take a look at it. There will be no estimates because the client has no access to this. I'm not sure if we're going to have a way to put contractors in and keep track of things and be able to issue a 1099. So we'll put that on the to be determined. Connecting a sales channel. If the client can't connect bank feeds, I really doubt there can be a connection to a sales channel. So let me go back to the original page. This is QuickBooks Ledger. It's a low cost solution for your tax only and year end clients. It could be amazing. It could be uh, a thing we look back and laugh at. I wanted to let my bookkeeping and accounting friends know that there's a thing that's out here that might be really helpful. We might want to look into it further. As soon as I can get access, I'll make demo videos on how I'm setting it up and what it looks like and just be one of the people that shows you what's up so that you can decide for yourself if you want to go ahead and make an account and test it out on your personal finances or for your year end catch ups. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, anything, leave them down in the comments below. If there are videos you'd like to see me make that I have not yet made, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. My team and I offer bookkeeping service. I offer one-on-one -on -one training for small business owners as well as bookkeepers. On my website, I offer self-paced courses for people learning QuickBooks. On top of that, we have a weekly newsletter that goes out that's just kind of the life and experiences of a bookkeeper at General Frog. So more about running a business, less about how to do things. Thank you again so much and have a great day.